Hi guys, today we do another unboxing and it should be a fairly quick one. Um, I only got literally three items and we went recently um, on a little day trip um, to Soho Farmhouse and um, they have like a shop there and they stocked some stuff from Ruby Hammer and I have seen the stuff online before, actually specifically these pots and um, when I saw it there, okay, I said maybe that's a sign um, and I've seen them in person now so I will get them. So I've got two makeup brush holders, they are just like little cups, so they're called porcelain brush shoulder a large one and a small one and um, as you can see they are quite bright from the color so they also have a large one in yellow i saw on the website but they didn't have it in the shop so i didn't got the yellow one because i think otherwise i would have probably bought all three if they would have had the yellow version there as well the color i i really hope it, just, it translates somehow via the camera the color is just amazing it's a bit dusty actually in there let me get the dust out so they are porcelain um has a little it's like matte it's like a little ruby hammer um logo on the front and it's literally fluorescent pink and it's so lovely the only thing that worries me slightly but um i'll need to see how that goes um my makeup brushes are quite heavy so i hope this works at the moment what i actually use as a brush holder I think I mentioned in my videos before, when I have like a nice candle um, in the past, I would keep the candle and then I just put my makeup brushes in there. Um, I don't always have all brushes out. I usually have only out like the brushes I use so um, it doesn't get too dusty and the other ones I've stored in the drawer. This one is actually quite a Christmassy candle, but I love it so much. So I literally just turn it around and come Christmas time, I turn it around this one. This is instant Christmas decoration, I would call it. But yeah, so I got this brush holder and i also got a small one which is in a fluorescent orange so let's get it out they've reminded me quite a bit it's completely unrelated to makeup but i do love um little porcelain pieces from a german company called radar oh that's dusty as well inside let's get that out there we go still a bit dusty but yeah this is a fluorescent orange Again, the name on it. So yeah, there's a German company, um, a German brand called Reda. And um, I actually collect, well, not really collect because I stopped buying it because I just had too much stuff. But I like like their porcelain pieces, completely makeup unrelated. Whoopsie, but I will show it for you. It's really thin porcelain and they always have like very nice, of course that falls off now. It's, it's a bit tricky to show on camera, but this is like um, a tea light holder. So you can put a tea light in and um, nothing broke don't worry and it's like really intricate design on the outside and they have really cute little pieces like oh, all a bit dusty like this little trinket box or this little tea light holder made of porcelain and these ruby hammer pots i'm only showing you that stuff they've reminded me of that and i have um these other porcelain pieces out on my shelves so actually i thought this makeup brush holder or these two cups would feel really fit nicely in with my other stuff but let's get to the next item um i also got her travel makeup brush and this is the one um i also saw before online oh by the way the pots were 15 pound i think they were 15 pound each and the travel makeup brush is 28 pound so it comes in wooden not wooden in a paper box and it's magnetic closure by the end and there you have it. And there were two different versions of it. The other version they had was um, with a spoolie, but I don't need um, a travel brush with a spoolie because I have quite a small spoolie and usually spoolies also attached to my eyebrow stuff, so I don't need it. But I found that so cute. So there's a little brush. There's another little, like a liner brush. This is more like a tiny, tiny flat shader. Actually, let me get them all out. So you have the tiny flat shader, then you have like a little liner brush, and then you have like a bigger round brush. They're all quite soft, but also have a certain stiffness because that's purely because of the size of them. They are quite small, let's face it. Um, but I thought that was so, so cute and you can stack them up um, whichever way you want because um, the magnetic is on the bottom of them so I saw already on the Ruby Hammer website you can actually buy um, also these brushes separately I think they are £12 each or you can buy them as the sets um, which 
is it yeah it's actually a bit cheaper if you buy them as a set because you get three for 28 pounds but if i want any of the other brushes i literally could just buy it and put it on the bottom of it and yeah it's it's really cute and then you have like the little cap of course to cover the top brush but yeah i will try this out um I wish they would have like a maybe like a bit of a bigger one, but I guess it's a bit tricky to do because if the brushes get too big, um, it would be too difficult to get them back in because when you do have a brush where you put a lid on, you have to be careful that the brush doesn't get caught on the edges and then you might, um, yeah, destroy the bristles. But yeah, I thought that's really handy and um, I will definitely try it out how it goes with them. So yeah, let me know if you want to feed with these brushes. But that's it for me today already. So very bright and very practical. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.